Welcome to this educational session on Sermorellin, a synthetic growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH analog. This peptide is widely used in medical practice for its ability to stimulate the natural production of growth hormone in the body. Today, I will provide you with a comprehensive overview, equipping you with the knowledge you need to safely and effectively prescribe Sermorellin for your patients. Sermorlin works by mimicking the action of endogenous growth hormone releasing hormone, which binds to receptors in the anterior pituitary gland to stimulate the secretion of growth hormone. The released growth hormone, in turn, promotes the production of insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, in the liver and peripheral tissues. This cascade is responsible for the downstream physiological benefits associated with growth hormone therapy. Sermorellin is indicated for the treatment of growth hormone deficiency in adults and children. It is commonly used in the following scenarios. Adults with age-related decline in growth hormone levels, also referred to as adult-onset growth hormone deficiency. Patients experiencing reduced muscle mass, increased body fat, or decreased physical stamina due to growth hormone insufficiency. Pediatric patients with growth hormone deficiency that limits normal development as part of anti-aging protocols in integrative and functional medicine practices. With appropriate use, patients can experience a range of benefits, including improved muscle mass and strength, reduction in body fat, particularly visceral fat, enhanced bone mineral density, reducing the risk of osteoporosis, increased energy levels and improved physical endurance, better sleep quality and overall well-being, enhanced immune function, improved skin elasticity and appearance, the typical starting dosage for Sermorelin is 200 to 300 micrograms administered subcutaneously once daily, preferably at night to mimic the body's natural growth hormone secretion pattern. Dosages can be adjusted based on the patient's response, laboratory results, and treatment goals. A treatment course often spans several months for optimal outcomes. Sermorelin is rapidly absorbed following subcutaneous administration, with a peak plasma concentration reached within 30 minutes. Its half-life is approximately 10 to 20 minutes, allowing it to stimulate the pituitary gland in a pulsatile manner. Despite its short half-life, the biological effects last longer due to sustained growth hormone secretion. Sermorelin's activity depends on functional pituitary somatotroph cells. Patients with severe pituitary dysfunction may not respond adequately, making this an important consideration during patient selection. Common side effects of Sermorellin include mild redness or irritation at the injection site, temporary headache or flushing, nausea or dizziness in some patients. Less commonly, hypersensitivity reactions or worsening of pre-existing carpal tunnel syndrome can occur. These effects are generally mild and transient. Potential risks of Sermorellin therapy include exacerbation of insulin resistance in predisposed individuals, risk of neoplasia in patients with active or untreated malignancies due to growth hormone stimulation. Contraindications include known hypersensitivity to Sermorellin or any of its components, active malignancy or history of malignancy requiring growth suppression. Before initiating therapy, obtain baseline insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1 levels, assess thyroid function with a full thyroid panel, as hypothyroidism can blunt the effectiveness of growth hormone therapy, evaluate fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c to assess for insulin resistance, conduct a comprehensive metabolic panel and lipid profile. During therapy, monitor IGF-1 levels every 6 to 12 weeks to ensure adequate growth hormone stimulation and avoid superphysiological levels. Reassess fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c periodically. Perform periodic evaluations of thyroid function to detect any imbalances. After therapy, monitor IGF-1 levels to ensure a return to baseline. Assess overall patient outcomes and symptom improvement. Alternatives to Sermorelin include growth hormone-releasing peptides, such as ipomorelin and CJC-1295, which also stimulate endogenous growth hormone secretion, direct recombinant human growth hormone therapy for patients with severe deficiencies or pituitary dysfunction, lifestyle modifications including resistance training, adequate sleep, and a balanced diet, which can enhance natural growth hormone production. Sermorelin offers a safe and effective option for stimulating the body's natural growth hormone production, providing significant benefits for patients with growth hormone deficiency. Proper patient selection, dosing, and monitoring are key to optimizing outcomes and minimizing risks. By adhering to these principles, you can help your patients achieve improved quality of life and overall health. 
Click the link below for one pager on Sir Morlin.